Yeah, I had delusions of being a doctor. Okay. Um, but you know, I I had always I've always uh, drawn and and painted. I had an uncle who was an illustrator, um, but also made paintings and showed them in galleries. So I knew what that was. You know, again, I thought this would be something great to do um, on the side to make my life richer. But then, as I started taking more art classes, I just couldn't I couldn't uh, avoid the gravity. <laughs> I've I'd always been made a point to be in my studio and make work, even though I I knew I maybe didn't have anything on the on the horizon, because it was important that if somebody if somebody offers you a show like this show that happened at Tony White, yeah, um, I I may not have uh, been ready for that if I if I hadn't been making work. It it happened fairly quickly. Um, he talked to me in October. We had the show in January. So that, ideally, you have a longer lead time for a show, but, but that uh, didn't, you know. Luckily, I had a lot of work already made, um, frantically made a few more paintings and, and had the show, and it did pretty well. A colleague of mine from graduate school, Nathaniel Robinson, he's a, a great artist. He started working for Hudson, or the owner of Feature Inc., um, a gallery in New York, um, and he was a really good friend of mine in, in graduate school. And uh, in 2008, Nathaniel showed Hudson my work. And Hudson started emailing me, uh, just saying, I, I saw the work on your website. I like what you're doing. You know, send me images in, you know, in six months when you have more work. That, that back and forth happened for, for two full years before, uh, before he asked me, then in 2011, or spring of 2011, he asked me to be in a show at, at Feature in New York um, that September, September of 2011. I, uh, I had a group of paintings that, that Feature was working on, uh, placing with a collector. Um, it was a group of seven paintings, and uh, we, we negotiated the price. I, I took my 50% after a discount, and everything was fine. They were all going to one place, um, and it was a great collector. And they, you know, you, yeah, I think it's important to make allowances. You don't want to lose your shirt, obviously. You don't want to go way, you know, way below that that 50%. You have to maintain some standards with that. But I think it's important to to be flexible. I don't know. Well, I, I was just going to say that it, it's very um, the the consistent theme for me over the last. Um, I don't know, 11 years since I've been in Chicago is to consistently make work. That's one. And two is, is to, to be friendly and, and make friends with people. Um, I mean, people will know if you're just using them for, for art purposes. But if you're, you know, if you're genuinely interested as an artist in seeing other artists work, um, inviting other artists over to your studio, um, I mean, these are the things that have worked for me. Yes, it's more related to education, I guess. I do work with a lot of artists, but I, I work at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and I, um, I do training for faculty on uh, computer applications, most, mostly um, learning, teaching software. I took this job thinking that it would be, I mean, the job has evolved over time, but when I first started the job, in 2005, I thought it, this would be something that I do for a couple of years, and then I move, you know, maybe get a teaching job or or do something else. But um, I had kind of conflicting um, conflicting goals. I wanted to stay in Chicago because I felt what little traction I had, I felt like, well, I have at least a little bit. I want to stay here um, and be here and 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 keep this ball rolling if if possible. Um, I, I have taught, though, uh, for about six years, I was teaching at the School of the Art Institute one day a week, and I was working my job the other four. Um, and that, I, I don't know that it, uh, I don't know that it compromised my art making, but I felt uh, much more exhausted after a day of teaching than I did after a day of uh, my, my job. Uh, I did have a, a situation where I was working with a, a, a small gallery in Utah, <clears throat> and they wanted me to pay to ship 
all my workout. And I said, sorry, I can't do a show. Um, so then they, the next year, they, it was a nonprofit space. Um, they got a Warhol Foundation grant and said they could pay the shipping. And so I did the show. The, the thing that was most important to me about grad school were the, my peers. Um, now, I will say that if I could have had two years to, to work on my work in my studio by myself without, um, you know, without uh, having to have a, a full-time job, I probably could have, my work could have progressed in the same way if I were inviting people over to my studio. I, I think the, the most important things are focus time on your work and meeting people um, and bringing people into your studio. Sure, I'll, I'll keep this very quick. Size does matter, but it has, it, it has to fit the work. Um, I, I used to make very, well, not very, medium-sized paintings, five by six feet, four by five feet. Um, I scaled the work down because I wanted it to be more intimate and a one-to-one -one human scale. I mean, you can have a human scale bigger painting, but I wanted this smaller intimate relationship. And so the size fits the work. I'll make, I want to make bigger paintings again, and I will, but right now these, it fits.